Hello everyone, I'm out in the narthex right now with all of our 10th grade faith projects. The, our young people here were confirmed this past Sunday and as our tradition here at St. Barnabas, they create some kind of faith project that represents their gifts and how they live out their faith. So I'm just doing a brief video to show you them and so you can get an idea of what they look like and if you'd like to stop by, we'll have them on display here for a couple of weeks. But in case you can't get out, I thought I'd give you a little tour. The first one is Mason Vickers. And he enjoys photography, taking pictures of God's creation. He's got some Bible verses and a whole bunch of pictures that he's taken. Really cool pictures. These are awesome, Mason. Look at that spider. And here's his little write-up. And that flowers are the most beautiful creation by God. All right, very nice job, Mason. And next to Mason, we have Carly Redelsheimer. And she has a little description here. I'm going to try to zoom in on it, and I'll read it. In August, this plant was sitting alone on the Lowe's clearance shelf. Nobody wanted it because it was sickly and dying. However, I saw potential in it and brought it home to be nourished. After some time, the plant began to flourish in my room. This is just like how God sees potential in every one of his creations and his faith in us as well as our faith in him, is what we need to flourish. This plant ended up having a little offspring of plants. Now these new little plants will continue to be rooted in the faith and growth according to God's will. So there's the little offspring. What an awesome story, Carly. And then she included a scripture verse there from Colossians. What a cute little offspring. All right, and then we have Caitlin Elderts, who created a cross made out of sticks and some leaves, a little craft project using God's creation. And she included the scripture verse. I'll pull this out so you can read it. And I've noticed that the leaves are all different colors as well, sort of like the seasons. She's got a green one and then more fall ones. And then purple right in the center there. Looks like that's a flower actually. Very, very pretty art project that Caitlin did. All right, and then Emma Turnquist. Emma is a horseback rider and she competes she has competed at the state fair and this is her uh, drawing that she did of Sunny, her horse Sunny, and herself and she started working with Sunny this past May and has learned a lot from her and did some shows this summer with her and she is an excellent horseback rider I've seen her in action so that is Emma Turnquist, a beautiful little drawing that she did. And then Grant Redelsheimer created an online Jeopardy game. And I will have the link to this game in this week's E! News. So you'll be able to read it and see it and actually participate in the game. But it is an a online Jeopardy game that you can go on and play. He created it on the computer. Here's the website, just in case you want to get a head start. I know, hard to see, haha, <laughs> but kind of funny. But yeah, so you'll be able to go on and play Jeopardy online. And it is, as you can see, a Christian version. You've got Christian Leaders for 100, uh, Lutheranism. Oh, I'll have to check that one out. Sacraments, Christian history. So that will be fun to check out. Awesome job, Grant. We'll be playing that this week. And then we have Pia Lyseth, who plays in band, and she plays in a band called Harmony Bridge at her, I believe it's at her school. Yes, it was Wyzetta East Middle School. And she played 
during her eighth grade year and it's seventh and eighth grade students. And um, they would play at nursing homes and they would play songs that various residents would recognize, like when the saints go marching in, Ode to Joy, that kind of stuff. And she would take time to have conversation with these older people and um, hear, sto hear their stories as well. So there's some photos of her and her band. Here is the rest of her story. So zoom on that for a minute. So what a great way to bring joy into our retirement homes. And there's some more photos. There's Pia there in the photo. We'll zoom in on her. She's holding her clarinet. And so she made this nice little Bolton board or picture board with photos from Harmony Bridge. All right, as usual, these projects are amazing every year. I'm always amazed by what our young people come up with. So thanks for stopping by. And again, if you wanna come by church and actually see these in person, they will be in the narthex for a couple of weeks. Thanks for watching.